Okay, so number two, differentiate, differentiate with respect to x. So, we have 4x squared plus 6x minus 1. So, dy over dx is equal to... So, actually, what happened is dy over dx is also equal to d over dx. Then, the function of y is 4x squared plus 6x minus 1. So, this one is equal to this one. Lah. So, when we want to differentiate, we will do it individually. So, we will do it one by one. So, like the before, what happened is that we bring power, kita bring power front and then minus power with 1. So, bring power forward minus power with 1. This is what happened. So, in this case, so since we will be doing 1 by 1, so... So, we will do this one. Okay, I just show 4x square plus d over dx, 6x. So, this one would be minus d over dx, negative 1. So, here in this case, what happened is that you bring the power front. So, you have 4 here, right? 4 won't be affected. So, you can just write 4. So, you bring 2 forward. So, you bring 2 forward and then x. The power minus 1, 2 minus 1. So, can you see this? What happened is, when you bring this one forward, it's equal when you multiply this one. Because when you bring this 2, for, when you bring this two forward, you have, you have to multiply this one with 2. So, 4 multiplied with 2, you get 8. So, you can directly uh, multiply this one to get 8. Okay. Plus, so this one, x is equal to x power of 1. So, we bring the power 1 forward. So, we get 1 times 6 is 6. So, in this case, x1 one minus 1, x1 one minus 1, right? Okay, minus, so we know here this one is no x. So, no x is actually x to the power of 0 because x to the power of 0 is 1, right? So, 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. So, what happened is because the power is 0, when you multiply 0 with negative 1, you get 0, something like that. So, here you get 4 times 2 is 8. So, this one is x to the power of 2 minus 1 is x plus 6x minus x is see, 6x to the power of 0 and this one is 0, right? So, so it's equal to 8x plus 6. So, this one is 8x plus 6. Right. This is quite direct. So what happened is when you bring the power for, uh, when you bring the power forward, so actually when you have constant, you just multiply it and then the power you minus with 1. Okay. So B you have Y is equal to 4 over 5 set X plus 2 over set X. So we wanted the power to be in the uh, power symbol. So here would be 4 over 5, so x would be x power of half. This one would be plus 2. So this one is x to the power of half, right? But then we wanted it to be above here. So we don't want to be below. So we will get 4 over 5 x to the power of half plus 2 x to the power of negative half. Something like this. Then we can differentiate. So here dy over dx is equal to, so when I do dy over dx, so I show you the long way in A, so we have to do one by one. So we have to do this one first and then we have to do this one. We have to differentiate by term. So what happened is when we differentiate, we bring the power forward. So when we bring the power forward, actually you are multiplying the power with the constant here. So you will get... So, I just bring 4 over 5 with 1 over 2. And then here you get x. So, after you bring forward, the, pi, the power need to be minus with 1. So, half minus 1. Okay. And then after you have done the for the first one, and then you did the second one, this is 2. And then the power is negative 1 over 2. When you bring forward, so negative 1 over 2. And then after you bring forward, you need to minus the power with 1. So this one is x negative half minus 1. So here, 4 over 5 times 1 over 2, you get, so this one can be cut off. You get 2 over 5. So x half minus 1, you get x negative half. 
So this one two times negative half, you get negative one, right? And then x negative half minus one, you get negative three over two. So here, since the power is negative, it's equal to two over five x half minus 1 over x, 3 over 2, to make the power positive, which is equal to 2 over 5. So we know x to the power of half is equal to third x minus, so 1 over, so we know that x power of 3 over 2 is equal to x3, third 2. Because the power below would be, would be uh, the root, and then the power above would be the power. So, C, you see here you have 9 minus 4x square. So, you can expand this one, right? So, 9 square, you get 81. So, 2 times negative 4x times 9, you get negative 8x. Negative 8 times 9, you get negative 72x. So, 4x square, you get 16x square. So, this is something like this. A minus B square is equal to, you square the first one. And then you this one times this one times this one. 2 times negative b times a, you get negative 2ab. And then b square. So you get this one. So after you expand, you can do differentiation dy over dx is equal to. Or you can do, you can see uh, in a, I do a longer way. But both is acceptable. So you are doing term by term. So first, 81. So we know that 81 is equal to x to the power of 0, right? Because x to the power 0 is 1. So, uh, the con uh, when we have constant, without the, without the value of x, when we differentiate, we will get 0. Why? Because 81 x 0, when we bring the power forward, 0 times 81 is 0. So, this one is 0, and this one is negative. You bring the negative, x, to the, x is equal to x to the power of 1. So, we see here, to differentiate, we bring the power forward. So, 1 times 72, we get 72. And then, x. And then, we minus the power with 1. So, x is 1 minus 1. Okay. And then, we do the third one. So, the constant is 16. So, you bring 2 forward. Means, you multiply 16 with 2. So, I just write lah here. So, 2. Or, you can directly write 32. So, x, after you bring the power forward, you need to minus the power with 1, 2, minus 1. So, here, 0, you don't have to write lah. So, this one is negative, 72. So, x, 1 minus 1 is x0. x0 is equal to 1. Plus, this one is 16, times 2 is... 16 times 2 is 32. And then, x2 minus 1 is x x lah. 2 minus 1 is 1, right? Or x. So, here you get 32x minus 72 or negative 72 plus 32x is also equal lah.